Hi, this is Tanya Justin. I am bringing you your weekly introduction, and this is actually the final weekly introduction as we wrap up this course. So, what are we doing the final week in this Pivot Online course? What we are going to be doing is we are going to be looking at blended learning. Now, when we first were thinking about what the weekly topics will be, and as you all know very well, the weeks are changing or things are changing every day and every week. And so when we first had started this and launched this, we didn't know if this was going to be a week online, two weeks online, um, or I should say people having to teach remotely, or if we were looking at finishing out the term, or maybe summer terms would be online and fall terms are going to be online. And as we know from lots of the announcements by different colleges and universities across the globe that uh, most have announced that pretty much the entire rest of this term will be remote or fully online. We are also seeing lots of announcements that the summer is going to be remote or fully online for the most part. And for the fall, even we're seeing a few announcements. And so it could be the situation that not only during the summer term, but also the fall that either instruction can be fully remote or 100% online. Or there may be, um, and this might be new for you, some of you, there might be a blending of the two environments. So we might see uh, part of the course online, uh, part of the course might come face-to-face -face at some point, or there just might be online with uh, limited opportunity for face-to-face. -face. And so with that, we thought it would be great to cover blended learning um, in this uh, final week that we're here together to help prepare you all for what is happening moving forward. So um, this week, there's going to be a series of curated resources. We also have several exciting podcasts for you. I saw from Martin Weller and from Stephen Downs, um, and I think there's one else uh, or one more as well. So that will be super exciting. Um, blended learning um, has been called lots of things historically. So it might be blended learning, or hybrid learning. I think there's even high flex learning and there's flip learning. So there's all different versions. Um, years ago uh, in the Journal of Asynchronous Learning ne Networks, that's what it used to be previously called. It's now the Online Learning Journal. Um, there actually was a group of folks from around the United States that came together to define it. And I think there was an article by um, Anthony Picciano, Tony Picciano, who's at the City University, New York, Hunter College, I had come up with a definition. And when we talk about blended learning a lot of times is, yes, there is a component of face-to-face -face that is replaced with meaningful um, and pedagogically valuable online activities. And I think one of the keys to blended learning is not just about tacking on an online component or moving things online, but it's really about a strategic thought process about what works really good online or even better online and what really needs to be face to face, but also the blending of those environments. I think the integration of online and face to face that there's sort of this uh, continuous loop that the environments inform each other is really important. And so hopefully we'll touch on that um, and you'll all understand that if you don't already a little bit more this week. So I really feel like the integration of the environments is really key. So hopefully after leaving this week, you'll be able to identify areas where um, you'll have opportunities for online or possibly when we do move back into more face-to-face -face learning opportunities, you'll be able to identify what really you would like to keep face-to-face, -face, but there are things that also work really well, if not better online. And how do you integrate those environments? And so we're hoping you'll be able to put together a sort of redesign plan to understand uh, what works best in each environment, as well as how to integrate those environments and identify some of those active learning, uh, online learning activities that we've talked about to implement further. I know we moved so quickly to remote instruction that a lot of you were just doing whatever you could do to um, stay alive since you were sort of, um, it, no pun intended there, um, since a lot of you, this was your first sort of time at doing anything online or um, even touching remote instruction. So now you have a little bit more time to plan probably before the summer terms or the fall term to think more strategically about the two environments and how to really take advantage of the online environment and the characteristics that can lead to really effective learning for students. 
And so that is a little bit about what's going on this week. So again, this is our final week. Welcome. We're going to be talking about blended learning, which I truly believe allows us to take advantage of what's best in both of the worlds and both of the environments. And um, we have a series of curated resources that are available for you to review. We'll be having some online activities, including a discussion. Also remember that we are keeping this conversation going on Twitter using the hashtag pivot online. So feel free to one, look at the existing conversations on pivot online. I know I've been just tagging things here and there. Also, you can ask questions using the hashtag pivot online and folks can chime in and discuss those or we might bring them into our live session on Wednesday. So do remember we have the live session on Wednesday. Dave and George will be having their live podcast on Thursday. I always get my days. I know we're all trying to keep our days straight here. So and um, and if I don't see you at the live session this week, uh, hopefully I'll see you on Twitter. Uh, again, it's hashtag pivot online. Thanks all.